All right, before we get started, this is a full disclaimer. This video will be going up on Wednesday and not Tuesday. Life happens and I had to make an adjustment. So I forgive myself. I hope you can do the same. All right, let's get into it. Welcome back, my name is Michelle Farley of michellefarleywrites.com and this is Copy Magnet TV. Each week I'll bring to you tips, tricks, and hacks all about the fine art of copywriting, how you can start a business, how you can grow your business, uh, and maybe you have a different type of business but you wanna enhance your copywriting skills. This is the channel for you. Ah, so much better. In this business of copywriting, nothing is guaranteed. There'll be months where you might make a couple thousand dollars. There could be another month where you only make a couple hundred dollars. And if you're just getting started in this copywriting business, panic can set in and that will cause you to doubt yourself. And what happens when people start to panic? They make some interesting decisions. Right. Today I'm sharing with you five signals on how you'll know if you're hustling out of fear. And these are in no particular order, so here we go. So no. number one, you have no financial plan at all. If you're a new copywriter, I know this could be difficult because you're trying to figure out, should I charge by the project? Should I charge by the hour? How much do I wanna make for the year? Am I doing this full time? Are they doing this part time? All of these questions need to be answered and then you can start working backwards. So for instance, if you're a, um, a new part time copywriter and you say for your first year, you wanna make between 20 and 25,000 dollars okay so first you need to know what types of services are you going to offer uh, that will yield you a greater return the second thing you need to think about too is the type of copywriting uh, that you are uh, considering the niche that you are considering are there any slow periods within the year that you may see a dry spell? If so, you need to focus on the other three quarters where you're gonna yield a better return and make sure that you're saving that money for that other quarter when you're gonna have a dry spell. The problem when you don't have a financial plan is that you'll begin to panic work, which means you'll take on any project for any amount of money just to get some cash coming in to ultimately be stressed, burned out, and pissed off. Number two is stress. You're constantly, constantly working. You're taking on projects. You're not getting paid what you're worth. You're under these crazy deadlines. You don't have any help. You don't have any assistance. And you just feel like the whole thing is crashing in on you. Uh, but you can't get out because you've made your commitment. You've given your word. And now you're trying to get all of this stuff done. Worst part of it all is that your writing is actually lackluster. The most important thing is not to put so much um, pressure on yourself that you're not able to deliver. So let's take a look at what's going happening so far. One, you don't have a financial plan. And two, you've taken on all these different projects that are not paying you what you're worth because you're thinking some money is better than no money. And now you see a copywriter that is either at the same level as you are or higher, and they seem to be having a business that is thriving. They seem happy and joyful and less stressed, and you can't figure out why. And now you're trying to implement the things that they're doing when you haven't even done the very basics. And that is gonna cause you major burnout. Instead of comparing yourself to someone else, what you should do is start to recognize your strengths and your talents and start taking on projects that enhance that. So going forward, you should focus on well-paying clients, you should focus on niches that not only that you're passionate about, but that you excel in, and making sure that you have a financial plan so that this won't happen again. Don't compare yourself to other people. The people that you admire, the people that you feel like are really in their thing, they've fallen and they've made mistakes as well. And this might be also a good time to even connect with that person and ask for some mentorship. Hey y'all, and that was number three, but before we get to four and five, this is a great opportunity for you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already, your girl will appreciate it. All right, on number four. Now, now you're in a pickle. Now you have 59, 11 projects. You are overworked, you are stressed, you are underpaid. You're comparing yourself to other people. And now you feel like my words that I'm saying don't even make sense. I feel like the quality of my work is not great. So let me find someone whose work is exemplary and let me try to use that. But instead of studying their work or taking bits and pieces and seeing how you can create your own version of that, you begin to copy that. 
Now you're not only working out of fear, but now you have integrity issues. And y'all, after that, it's just a downhill spiral, which brings us to number five. At number five, you always see quitting as an option. When things aren't going your way, when you're not meeting the goals, when you're not meeting these benchmarks, instead of you going back through your notes, going back through the decisions that you made and making changes, you just wanna give up. And then maybe three months, four months, you pick back up. That's just not a good look. You Sometimes you just have to go through the fire. What you don't wanna do is stop quitting and starting, starting and quitting, because one, you're gonna lose clients, you're gonna lose your credibility, um, you're gonna lose potential customers um, and even those customers who stayed around eventually they're going to move on to someone else that has more stability any of the things that i said prick you in any type of way don't take it as a negative but take it as an opportunity to sit down and really think about your goals for the rest of the year what do you want to accomplish what resources do you have who's in your network that can be a mentor to you to give you some information uh, to give you um, some type of insight and then use that to make sure that the rest of 2020 is amazing so that's it those are the five signals of how you'll know if you're hustling out of fear i hope you found this video helpful if so please consider like subscribing and sharing and commenting on my video and be sure to hit the notification bell so you'll know when new videos drop again my name is michelle farley this is copy magnet tv until the next time we speak i wish you peace and blessings bye